You're still enjoying it. Still love it. I do. Different challenges, different yeah. pressures. Yeah. Um, but do I enjoy it? Absolutely. Um, I couldn't. I couldn't think of anything else. Yeah. That I'd want to do. Because in our world, it's like if you're talking Spurs, whatever, we all mention you, and you become synonymous with. You with come where you are, I guess you come a bit a part of the furniture. Um, and the new manager came in, met him for the first time two weeks ago. Yeah, so that's something um, else we ain't discussed. Is that dramatically? Do you worry when a new manager comes in? Is it worry? Yeah, you must do. Must be you it, I guess. do. I was in the first team football administration suite by chance on that morning, and he came in straight away. The manager said, "Jump yeah, up yeah. to attention." Yeah. <laughs> morning, lovely to meet you. And his first words were. I've heard a lot about you. I'm really, I'm <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that's a good thing, isn't it? What's your Celtic been saying about me? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, but but is, uh, when someone goes, if they get sacked. Is it game? Do you, do you know? If you get close to someone, maybe you don't. It's really tough, and it's it was part of the uh, the, uh, the circus. I go, I guess, of football. But we had that TV series. Of course, on, you did. Um, yeah on Amazon, All or Nothing. Um, and I must have filmed about 25, 30 hours throughout the course of the year. Oh, did you? Uh, because of what we are and, and the box office that uh, Jose Mourinho is, not, not one minute of obviously my stuff um, made air. Yeah. And, 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 yeah. I, and I fully understand and respect why. Uh, but what I would say is on the day that, or the day after, Maurizio was sacked. Um, Jose was here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, and I remember driving around in the golf cart like this with GoPros all over the car yeah. doing an interview <laughs> for Amazon. And it was like, so yeah. how do you feel? Yeah. And I said, it's really, really tough. Yeah. It's because yeah. I've worked with Maurizio and his coaching team for five years. You work really closely yeah. together. Well, they're yeah. great experience and obviously yeah. some bad ones. Yeah. And then one minute he's gone, and then the next minute you're having to put the smile on and, you and welcome the new guy. Yeah, and there he is. And, one day. and it's it's and that's how quite often in football, not necessarily just Spurs, but in yeah. football it's, oh, it's okay. it is that cutthroat and it is what it is. Uh, but and you have what, to be professional. And, um what would worry me, I think, with the pictures, do they want, have they got different expectations and one be completely different to the other or do they just, all, what you do is what you do and they lead you to it almost? Um, to an extent, to an extent, but most at this level will want pictures set up the same way. You know, yeah. It's about water. Yeah. You know, I've said many times, why do we water the grass? Well. Two reasons. One, to keep me alive, and two, for pliability. And outside of the industry, most people in the industry understand why the water just before kickoff, but quite often I get asked the question, why on earth are you watering the pitch just before yeah. kickoff? And it's all to do with the friction of the ball. The modern ball's plastic coated. Yeah. And if it's the pitch is dry, it sticks. Um, no different to, to maybe, maybe golf. Yeah. Um, in, in terms of, I guess for those guys, it'll be the wind or it'll be pouring down yeah. the rain and yeah, you get a bit, bit of yeah. moisture on it and the greens slow up. Well, you adapt to the condition. Well, you say that, and uh, days of old in West Ham when we let the pitch grow a little bit longer because we don't want to be out past. <laughs> yeah. There's all that going on still, I guess. And we would, we would, we would adapt. So, for example, Oh, going back to the end of last season, we played away at Leeds and we knew Leeds were fighting for their lives and we knew that we weren't going to go there and play on a wet pitch unless it was raining. Yeah, yeah. So again, the day before training, we would we would meet, we would train on a pitch that was dry. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, look, those are, yeah. there's nothing new in that. There's no skullduggery is what, what it is. Yeah. If you try and set up your pitch in your area for your advantage, um, then you try and make the most of it. Oh, I agree. So, where are we now? So, the new addition last season, really, was that we made a real conscious effort to bring the women's team, yeah. um, who only turned pro in the last 
I might be wrong with this, last eight or ten years, but they're now in the Women's Super League. Yeah. So it was really important for us to bring them in and make them feel part of the whole setup. Yeah. So we had an area of land here at the training centre, which we've invested heavily to yeah. give them one and a bit pitches okay. in the interim yeah. um, and give them this building. Um, really, it will be <clears throat> for now, but we've got bigger yeah. plans. Okay. But it's a building that's going to... Uh, accommodate them for a couple of years where yeah. we're looking at, to develop those. All right. Um, but a very good setup. Fantastic. For the isn't it? Team. I mean, it's getting huge now, isn't it? It's a Women's World Cup tomorrow, isn't it? So Women's World Cup starts tomorrow. It's on a bit. I'm not. Yeah, we've got, so can... yeah. we've got a few players. We've got a few players that are in different nationalities. Yeah. All right. That are down in, uh, in Australia and New Zealand. So we hope they do well. Yeah. Um, That'll be fascinating to watch. But yeah. Fantastic, isn't it? And this pitch for them was the last one we renovated, obviously, yeah. as we stand here now. in, uh, in Towards the end of July, they're not back now, and the Women's Super League doesn't start to the beginning of October because of the World Cup and of the lateness course, of the World yeah. Cup. So we've got a little bit more time on our hands for this. So you're still on holidays, really, in your just relaxation. <laughs> if only. <I'm laughs> if only. But yeah. this is a really great environment. It's banked all the way around. It's a great pitch. Yeah. It's one of my favourite areas. Oh, is it? Um, all right. And uh, it's certainly great for coaching as well. Very secluded, very private. Yeah, yeah. And every single pitch here, they all get treated the same. Yeah. It's under eight pitch up yeah. to men's and women's first team. And yeah. they get the same dedication. And do you put different people on the different pitches? Uh, so where we vary? No, so where we sit at the moment, we will have um, a senior on each section. Yeah. Whether that's schoolboys, senior yeah. academy, first team. Yeah. Um, and then they will have their own mini teams. Yeah. And in those mini teams, we can move them around, but yeah. the senior stays where they are. Yeah. Um, but for where we sit at the moment, so Michael's out now, he's cutting, but he's the senior on the first team, men's and women's. Yeah. Because literally off to our right is the men's first team. They're yeah. that close. Okay. So we are so, side by side. So the same staff that look yeah. after the men's first team look after the women's. Yeah. And I haven't touched even... That'll be for another day, but the main, your stadium, who will, have you got a different team for the stadium from here or will you bring them over? So we bring some over, yeah. but we interact. Okay. So once, one in five weeks, one of them will come here for a week. All right. Keeps their hand in. Yeah. And then on match days, we'll send people back there from here. Yeah. So we want to keep that. We are one team. We're one Yeah, club. I like that. That's good. And we want each to know what each other's yeah, doing so they yeah. get a taste of it all right oh, brilliant um but yeah that's a yeah. whole episode yeah i know <laughs> let's go lots yeah. to see you all right so this will be our under 13s pitch 13s 14 so it is i mean we go to all these places towns you know it's a reasonable like non-league football and the pitch is fucking a little bit shocking and then you come here and you do you know, your training pitches, they would give the right arm for this. It's, it is, it is a, a different level. Um, the upkeep's hard. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is our worst bed, you'll see. So, if someone was talking about you to me, um, you're a groundsman, a football groundsman, and someone asked me to explain what you do, on um, miles, I would have no idea, unless I've been here now. It's, it is one alone. Does the pressure, do you feel the pressure or do you just, no, you, second nature now? You, no, you do feel the pressure. Um, and what I mean, I suppose it's, to explain the pressure, it's managers are demanding, the senior team are demanding, the board are demanding, you know, and, and that's to be expected. Yeah. Not to, I'm not criticising any of those. But you yeah, live, that right. is part of it. There's the budget. We'll give you a, a, a good budget. It's still a budget. Yeah. And you've got to work within it. Yeah. Um, but you have to deliver. Yeah. No. You're paid to do a job. You're paid to deliver the very high standards. Mm. Um, and that is the pressure. And no one puts more pressure on myself, on me than me. Yeah. You know, I'll be the first one that's self-critical. Yeah. Uh, I believe in my team. I'm, um, I'm critical um, Critical is a bit hard, really. Uh, I'm conscious and constantly working with the team to strive to improve standards. Um, they've got their core jobs. You can look out now, 
and we've got one of the apprentices over there. He's, yeah. now, he's, he's overseeing in the little areas around the outside. Yeah. So when we renovate, for example, yeah. just to give you an example of what he's doing, yeah. when we renovate, we'll car over the pitch. Yeah. We don't get right to the edge yeah. with a car. So we'll go around with a turf car and oh, we'll right. strip off all the yeah. colour and the rubbish on the outside, yeah. top dress, reseed. But obviously, the edges are often, yeah, yeah, yeah. quite often slower to come through. So yeah. his job this afternoon for his last hour and a half will be He's... going around overseeding the ends. Yeah. Yeah. They're the little add-on jobs.